had these beautiful flowers. Um, can baby Kai, some... baby Kai, I've got an emergency. I've got an emergency. Daddy, you need some help. what's going on? Oh baby gosh. Kai isn't here. Baby Kai is with Grandpa and Grandma. Remember, I'm here on my own, just waiting for you and Mommy to come back with a burger for me. Okay, baby Carla, come over here. Sit down. I've got some uh, very important news to tell you, okay? And it's very, very serious. So just sit down and take a deep breath, okay? Okay. Here's the situation. Um, Where's I was mom? In the city. Okay, listen to me. We are in the city with your mom. We were hanging out. We were uh, going to see a donut and he played a prank on us. And your mom ran across the street and she got hit by a car. And she's what? in the hospital and it's very, very serious, okay? We need to get oh some gosh. things ready for her and we need to go to the hospital straight away. <laughs> I don't understand. What do you mean she got thrown over by a car when running on the street? Why was she running on the street? She always taught me that you do not cross the street without a green light. Was there no green light, Daddy? Was the light no, there red? was no traffic lights and she was kind of distracted. We were running around looking for Donald the dog. He was playing pranks on us. And she ran across the street to go to the ice cream parlor and then she stopped to wait for me to come across and she got hit by the car and oh it's my so gosh. serious and there was blood everywhere and she's got unconscious and they have her in the hospital right now. Did the ambulance people come, Daddy? Did they yeah, take yeah, her Yeah, they away? came and uh, they took her away to the hospital. Aww. So uh, they need me to come back here and to get some stuff like a hairbrush and some toothbrush and a toothpaste and her pajamas and stuff and just um, to make sure okay. she's okay and get you guys but to come have a look as well. But daddy, what about, what about whoever hit her? Are they in jail? Did the police catch that lady or that man who hit mommy? No, the guy just jumped out of his car and he ran away. But we have his car and we have what? his number plate. So we should be able to find out who it was. Oh my gosh. Do you think it was a revenge for something really bad? Oh my goodness. Maybe it's one of her ex-boyfriends or one of your ex-girlfriends, daddy, that's trying to get rid of mommy. Or could it just be a coincidence? I think it was just a, an accident, you know, it was just a bad accident. These things happen when people aren't looking when they go across the street and the guy was driving oh, a bit too fast. Mommy. It's just a terrible situation. Okay, well, check for her pajamas in the wardrobe and I have the toothbrush and the hairbrush here. Um, I think we should go to the garden as well and maybe uh, give mommy some flowers because I bet you when we go to the hospital, she's going to feel so much better and straight away I'm going to give her some flowers and she's going to feel even better. Better then. And then you know what? We're just gonna take her home, and that's it. We're gonna just forget about that silly accident. And hopefully, the police will find that silly person who did something like that. Mm, I hope so. I hope she's gonna be okay. I mean, the doctor said it was pretty serious when I was leaving and to hurry up and go as fast as we can. But you know what? I'm just very, very worried. I mean, there was blood all over the ground, and she didn't sound too good. She, she couldn't really speak properly, and then she went unconscious, and it was just all a big panic. Oh my gosh, Daddy, do you think that she lost too much blood? Huh, I mean, um, there's lots of things that we can do these days, you know, with the medicine and the doctors being so smart and the technology. I'm sure we'll sort something out. But now, Daddy, we have to hurry up and get to the hospital right away. And Daddy, I don't think you should tell Baby Kai anything about it. Well, at least not for now, because you know the way he gets, he's just gonna start crying and he won't stop crying for a whole week and we just keep it between ourselves and we have to stay strong for mommy oh daddy i'm so so scared to see mommy like this oh my gosh it's so terrible i can't believe she's back in hospital again i mean everything was just going so good we were having such a great day and then a terrible accident oh my gosh it's just so terrible i don't know what we're gonna do if something terrible happens her what don't say that i bet you it's just a few scratches and she'll be absolutely fine now do you know where mommy is i mean this hospital is so big what's her room number what floor she's at mm, i don't have a clue because i just jumped out of the ambulance and i came straight back to you but look it says waiting area consultant down this way so let's go down here and see if we can speak to a doctor um okay that's a good idea the doctor will definitely know where she is um knock knock Hi, sir. My name is Baby Kyla, and my daddy is here. Daddy? Oh, um, sorry. Um, my daddy is here. Um, his name is Donnie, and our mommy was brought in by an ambulance today because she had a car, a car crash. A car just crashed into her when she was crossing the road. So, would you know where she is and what's happening to her? Yes, I have the uh, codes right here in my little uh, folder. So I'm afraid little Leah was hit by a car. It was quite a terrible accident. 
and she's lost a lot of blood. She's upstairs in the emergency room right now, and uh, she's stable, guys, but it's a very, very serious situation. Okay, so what did we do? Like, if she loses a lot of blood, what's happening next? Can you give her, like, an injection or some kind of a pill? And then we take her home, okay? Well, guys, I'm afraid she needs to have a blood transfusion. She needs a blood transplant right now, and I've got my notes here, and it looks like... Little Donnie, you have the same blood type, so I'm afraid you don't have any other options. You're going to have to give us some blood to give to Leah. Is that okay? Oh my Absolutely. gosh, Daddy. Yeah, no problem. That's uh, that's fine. I'll do that straight away. So how much blood do you need? When do you need it? What do you want me to do? Look, oh my gosh, look. But Daddy, all back here. Daddy, you can't do okay. that. What if you die? What if you die as well? <laughs> Daddy. Look at all the blood. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely disgusting. And there's none look. of this blood will suit mommy? I don't understand. Look like it. It's okay, it's okay. Look, I'm going to give some blood. I'm going to put it into your mommy and she's going to be okay, all right? They, they don't have our blood type right here, but I've got the same one. So it's a great coincidence and it's going to work out, okay? It's going to work out for the best. But daddy, what if they take too much blood away from you and then you're going to die? There must be some other way. We need to find someone else, some other person who has the exact same blood as mommy, okay? That's me. Don't be silly, okay? I'm here right now. Your mommy needs me right now, and it's going to happen. I'm going to go up. I'm going to give my blood, and she's going to be okay. We've got to trust in the doctors. Okay, fine. But, doctor, can we see mommy first? I just want to say hi to her. I know she's unconscious, but I still think that she can hear me. So, please, doctor, please, can I see my mommy for a few minutes? Absolutely. She's upstairs now. She is unconscious, but you can sit beside her and talk to her, and uh, we'll get her ready for the operation. Okay, thank you, Doctor. Come on, Daddy, we don't have much time left. I just want to see Mommy. <laughs> I hope this works. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose Mommy. I'm so, so scared. <laughs> don't be silly, baby Carla. Everything's going to be okay. Uh, I think there's rooms down this way. Where okay, yeah, there she? she is. There she is. <gasps> She's right there. Okay. Mommy, Mommy. Just be really quiet and be really sensitive, okay? Okay, sorry. Hi, Mommy. It's baby Kyla here with daddy. I just want to say that you're going to have a blood transfusion surgery soon. And daddy's going to give you a lot of his blood. And then you will feel so much better, mommy. And we're going to take you home. And we're going to take good care of you. Now don't be scared, mommy. It's going to be okay. Myself and daddy are here with you. Oh, gosh. Okay, daddy. I think the doctor is going to come and take both of you away. And I guess I'm just going to wait here for you guys. And Daddy, promise me you're not going to die. And you won't let mommy die, please. I promise, baby Kyla, don't you worry about a single thing, okay? I'm a little bit nervous, but it's just a blood transplant, okay? It's not like organs or anything like that. It's, it's not too serious, but uh, nothing's going to go wrong, all right? Uh, we're going to be fine just after this. And we're going to be able to go home really, really soon. Okay, Daddy. Bye. Good luck. All doctors to the ER. All nurses to the nurse's station. Baby Carla, baby Carla. Daddy? It's your dad. Daddy, how oh did it go? How are you feeling? Are you okay? I feel a little bit weak and a little bit dizzy, but I think it went well. I mean, they took the blood and they gave us your mom, but I haven't seen her. They wouldn't let me go back in and see her. They just told me to come down to you. Oh my goodness, well, the doctor is in there. He told me when you're here to walk into him so he can tell us what's happening. Come on, let's go. Doctor, doctor, daddy's here. So tell us, how did it go? Is mommy going to be okay? 
Well, guys, I'm afraid it's too early to tell. We have to wait till the blood circulates around her body to see if it's going to transfuse with her own blood and make sure she gets better. But uh, right now, she has to rest, and it's going to take a few days to get her back in the 100%. Well, is there anything that we can do to help her, Doctor? Please, we can't just sit here and wait. I'm afraid there's nothing you can do right now, guys. You're just going to have to go home and get some sleep and get some rest. Uh, Donnie, you need rest, especially after giving that blood, so... Guys, go home, take care of yourselves, and come back in a couple of days, and we'll make sure Leah's going to be brand new. Okay, thank you so much, Doctor, and if something happens, you make sure you give us a call. Come on, Daddy, I'll take care of you. We need you to get strong and better. We'll eat loads of food, and then you're just going to lie down and have a good rest. And tomorrow morning, we're going to wake up and come visit Mommy, and hopefully she will be better then.